When I'm cleaning these stripers here, first of all, I use a good serrated knife to cut through these scales. If you don't have a serrated knife, you keep a knife dull all the time. Uh, and I just reach up, go right behind this gill plate, and I cut at an angle, just like that. Then I flip it over. I do the same thing on the other side. And what I'm doing, I'm reaching in here with my finger, and I find the top of the rib cage. When you find that top bone on that rib cage, there'll be a line. There'll be one they strike, and that and that's where the top of that rib cage is. Is on that strike. I follow it right there, all the way down, and then I come at an angle. I don't waste this meat down here. Nothing in here is wasted. That's only rib cage and guts. So what I'm doing is I'm just sort of bypassing cutting the rib cage out after I clean the fish. I'm leaving the rib cage in instead of having to turn around and cut it out at a later time. Again, top of the rib cage, follow that lateral line and come back down just like that. Then I'm taking the same knife, going right there and I'm laying it flat and I'm cutting right through those scales. Right on his backbone, coming right back. And that's nothing but backbone left right there. I lay that knife flat. And I do mine a little different, but if you clean as many as I do, you figure out where to save steps at. I flip it over, leaving that, leaving the skin attached. And when I cut this off of the skin, I'm gonna leave that knife up and so I can leave the red meat on the skin so I don't have to trim it out. Oh, so, that's cool. So, and that's the only paper thin. So when I flip it back over, all I gotta do is cut the one red blood vein out. Some people call it muscle, I call it blood vein. But that right there is nothing there except the red meat that makes it taste strong like an ocean fish like you get at a restaurant down at the bay or something. Do the same thing on the other side. Laying it right there on the backbone again. Nothing's wasted. That's all bone right there. Come down to the tail. Don't cut it completely. I'll stop at the tail. Turn it over. Use this glove. Grab it right there. And you, you push and pull as you cut. And again, you come out with nothing but just taking the white meat completely out. So all you have left there is guts, rib cage, and bones. Thank you, David. Yes, sir.